this is Battle in the Beta Flash 98 Warhammer Tournament. Uh, Agony Achilles up against, um, don't remember, but don't remember is Commanding Chaos. Chaos Marauders up front, Chosen in the back, a bunch of these Forsaken, uh, dude on a Chaos, uh, Chaos Dragon. And uh, some nice, uh, nice uh, vanguard deployments here with the Marauder Horsemen going into the rear. Here we have the Witch Hunter, the Griffin, the Demogriff Knights just go straight and start wrecking stuff. However, they do get magic, magic a bit here. Yep, there we are. Need to be careful about that, but uh, being Demogriff Knights, they are going to be fine. More Demogriff Knights forthcoming. Uh, notice something here though. Units actually, individual men actually have moss now, so, uh, well they've always had it, but, um, if you try to run, if you try to, to charge out through your own units with infantry, it, it always was like that with cavalry, but if you do it with infantry, units will start piling up and make a royal mess, so that these Chaos Marauders are probably going to be able to make contact with some of the handgunners, yep. But it was it was uh, nice enough by the spearmen. They were able to counter charge here. The demogriff knights killing shit. Uh, used to seeing that by now. Nice charge here by the griffin. The griffin doesn't have anything to fear as long as it doesn't get surrounded in this particular battle. Uh, Chaos marauder horsemen here being missile cavalry throwing javelins of some description. Charging into the handgunners, the handgunners go flying. Very nicely done here with the vanguard deployment uh, and getting into the back. The handgunners are, however, not that important. They could be important for dealing with the chaos dragon, but you've seen this happen before. Uh, the the griffin just runs in and slays chaos dragons. So Empire has best cavalry, best flying monster, in my opinion. Some of the most cost-effective infantry. Um, that, of course, may means that uh, Empire has a lot of advantages. Uh, the Forsaken can get a lot of killing done. However, what often happens... Ooh, there we go. Stopping all of the Chaos units in place here. At a very important moment in the battle. Which enables Demogriff Knights to get great charges here. It enables the Griffin to go in and get some more killing done. The net of Amuntak, or something like that, holding units in place. So morale is going to be a problem for Chaos at this point. There are a lot of dangerous Chaos units left on the battlefield. But the Empire has... Uh, Empire is starting to run out of uh, their demigriffs. The, the Marauder Horsemen are not very powerful in melee, so... Uh, the Handgunners are actually holding their own here against the, um, against the Marauder Horsemen. And in a massive blob like this, you would expect uh, Empire to come out on the bottom and Chaos come out on the top, uh, on top. But this is total War Warhammer, so things are slightly different. Where you have a unit of uh, Demogriffs, barely any health left on them, but enough to go in and uh, attack the Marauders in the rear. Desperate last stand of Chaos here. Most of the Chaos units are running away and when you get the effect of a lord being dead a unit causing fear and terror on the battlefield losing combat you'll see units run away very very quickly terror being a new factor on the battlefield in total war warhammer so yeah no question how this is going to end see the griffin cartwheeling or charging through the through the forsaken A Pyrrhic victory, and uh, once again, Demogriff Knights instrumental. The rest of the cheap infantry just pile in. Uh, the Forsaken seem to do, some of them seem to do a reasonable job, but uh, the Lord, Chaos Horser, Lord of Death, just he cannot contend with uh, a general on, uh, on a griffin. So, uh, we've seen a lot of Empire, and that's simply because the Empire is extremely powerful. Uh, but I'm hoping there will be some other matchups. There are some factions that seem completely unviable at this time, but Empire seems very powerful.
strength and honor.